Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bram. It's Saturday, February 27th. And this is Deaconess Elizabeth. And we're here this morning for your daily devotion. We're going to be doing the morning devotion, which is in your hymnal on page 295, if you'd like to turn there now and join us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory, glory be to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. All right, and Deaconess Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us. Our hymn this morning is going to be hymn 430. My song is Love Unknown. And we'll do verses 1 and 2. My song is love unknown. My Savior's love to me. Love to the loveless shown that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake my Lord should take frail flesh and die. He came from his blessed throne, salvation to bestow, but men made strange and none the long their Christ would know. But, O oh, my friend, my friend indeed, who at my need his life did spend. Okay, and our devotion today is from John chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. As he passed by, he saw a man, blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said these things, he spit on the ground and made mud with the saliva. Then he anointed the man's eyes with the mud and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar were saying, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is he. Others said, No, but he is like him. He kept saying, I am the man. So they said to him, Then how are your eyes opened? He answered, The man called Jesus made mud and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been born blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. So the Pharisees again asked him how he had received his sight. And he said to them, He put mud on my eyes, and I washed and I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a man who is a sinner do such signs? And there was a division among them. So they said again to the blind man, What do you say about him, since he has opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. So, a uh, very famous passage from John chapter 9 about the, the man who is born blind and now he sees. And um, the big controversy about this text today, you can see that uh, the, the man is brought, the man who was healed is brought to the Pharisees, and they accuse Jesus of breaking the Sabbath. And there's this, this reference a couple times to making mud. And, and what I think a lot of us don't know when we, we hear this passage is that making mud on the Sabbath was breaking the Sabbath because it was considered to do, be doing work. Uh, you may remember that people were forbidden from working on the Sabbath. And the, the Pharisees had sort of evolved this uh, understanding to mean that if you would... Uh, they, they came to define all kinds of things as work that, that really... Were, were not work, but they, they got obsessed with the law, and one of the things that they came to define a, a, as work was, was spitting on the Sabbath, because if you spit, your saliva would, would contact the dirt, and you would make mud, and that was considered to be doing work. 
So they accuse Jesus of, of working on the Sabbath, and they're confused because how can, how can Jesus be breaking the Sabbath if he is, or how can he really be breaking the Sabbath if what he does heals this man, which only God can heal? So the Pharisees are kind of at a loss because if, if Jesus is not doing this work, it's not from God, then um, how could this man be healed? But then if Jesus is doing this work, then he's healing on the Sabbath by doing work. And so they, they're they just trapped by their own understanding of the law. And Jesus is illustrating to them really the, the corruption that they have come to see the law and obsess about the law. And uh, that's a lot of what we deal with here in the Gospels is um, rightly understanding law and gospel, as you know, we emphasize so much in our circles. So, um, of course, the, the gospel is what's going to save, and that's what we're all moving towards during the season of Lent, uh, when we move to the end, when Jesus is crucified and then, and then rises again. All right, we are uh, back on page 295, and we are going to pray together now the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we employ to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us today? Well, very shortly, we will be having Women's Coffee Hour here at 10 a.m. online through Zoom. So uh, we have that going on today. Tomorrow, um, we'll have worship service at normal time and confirmation again at um, 6 in the evening. And then just looking ahead for um, our young adults, there is an event that will be happening over in Keller. The information um, for that is in our church e-newsletter so if you are interested in coming to that uh let me know or if you have any questions i can also help you answer those as well and pastor's class is happening this uh monday night at 7 p.m so uh still have some spots available if you would like to come and join us let me know uh, and then of course we have uh, another midweek uh, lenten service coming up on wednesday attendance has been light so far so if you would like to come and join us um, we'd love to see you. We'll be having a, a number of these, of course, through, uh, through the month of March. And then uh, Easter will come, and Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and so we'll have announcements about that. Just keep an eye on the email newsletter for all of those upcoming dates. So we wish God's blessings on this the rest of your Saturday. Please join us tomorrow for worship at 1030, uh, either in person or online.